Greetings and salutations, my geeks, nerds, gamers, and learners. Welcome to Enticement Gaming. It is I, your host, Mr. G63, and today we're going to be doing a little tutorial. Now, on Twitch and on Discord, I have been asked to show you guys how to install a mod launcher for seven days to die so what we do is we go onto google we type in 7d2d mod launcher make sure that you go to the mod launcher.org page as you can see on the screen right now so click on the link and you should see a screen like this if you do not please just go make sure that you selected the correct link now you'll see here under download there is a github Click on it and you will then be transported to a window, the usual save as window where you can actually save the file and make sure that you know where you download it as per usual. Click on save. Once it has downloaded, we can click on the file, open it up and install. Now you will, I have already got the mod launcher installed on my computer. So I will not be installing. I'll just do a quick repair just to make sure that everything is fine. So as we install it, let me just quickly say there, done, closed, awesome. Now we can go into our desktop and we'll see the mod launcher logo. So we double click on this and this is how you install a mod. Now these are all overhaul mods, so they do take some time. Now, what we do is you can see there's a whole bunch of different mods and you can see that I already have got the Age of Oblivion mod installed. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a mod by using a different mod. So if you want to install a mod, you go and you look on the side of the screen, you can see there's a whole bunch of different mods. I'm deciding to take the, which one? Hmm. Any mini mining mo. Uh, got that one. Let's do this one. War of the Walkers. Yeah, let's install that one. So you click on it. You see the version. You click on the version. And then you'll see the screen has changed. So first thing that we're going to do is we are going to copy from a existing copy of Seven Days to Die. Now you can install it from Steam itself. Uh, you'll just need to put in your username and password and all of that. For me, it's just easier to go into my files and go and install the game from there. So that is what we are going to be doing. So just for privacy, I don't want to quick, I don't want to show all the all the files on my PC. So we're just going to say, look under the um, stream uh, Steam library. Uh, under common and then you will be able to find the game there So once you have selected the file, you can also say where you want the mod to be installed. You click on the install game copy and the game will then start create, you'll start creating a copy from your main Steam library into the modded version library. Now I already had seven days to die, seven days to die open. So there's a little bit of a glitch there. So I'm quickly closing seven days to die. And we're going to try that one again to make, just to make sure that the, that the mod installs properly. So what you do is we're going to say, we delete the entirety, De uh, sorry, delete complete. And then we're going to install. So with the magic of the internet, I am going to quickly fast forward until we meet uh, until the download is complete just a quick note that these installations that do take a lot of time 
So don't worry if it's not done in a few seconds. Okay, now the game has been copied over. So we're going to quickly run what I like to call the pre-sync. So you'll see there is a button called pre-sync mod. Now this allows you basically to install the mod on the vanilla version of the game. Now how we, how we approach this is that we go onto the mod launcher. You'll see that there is a uh, pr sync pre-mod, pre-sync mod. Uh, this will install the mod. Yes. Do you want to proceed? Yes. And then the game will start uh, being updated with the new mod attached. Now, give it a few seconds and it will actually start giving you a status of your download. So as you can see there in the bottom of the screen, it says the, um, uh, 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 the effect, oh, sorry. It says uh, download status and you can actually keep an eye on your status right there. So once the thing is installed, you will now be given the opportunity to play the mod. So what you do is you go, you click, you play the mod. You can see that it is installing. When we are finished installing the mod, we can actually go there and set play and it will then open a new game of seven days to die with the mod installed. So I'm just going to quickly go over to my age of oblivion. As you can see, it's exactly the same. You click on play the mod. You can see there it says game started. You'll see here at the bottom of the screen, there will be a little seven days to die logo that now you will be greeted with the vanilla games load up screen but as soon as you head into the actual game um, you will see that there will be a slightly different start game graphics so there we are the little devil dude in the background and this will basically let you know that you have installed your mod correctly so that is it from me guys if you guys would like more tutorials on mods how to install them how to set them up or if you would like me to review some of the overhaul mods please don't forget to leave comments in the in the comment section down below and if you enjoyed this video please feel free to leave a like hit that subscribe button and i will be more than willing to create more content like this in the future. But for now, all I want to say to you is shup shup millipop, stay lacquered, and of course, catch you on the refresh.